623 now, and for kids, the summer often means trading in textbooks for texting and school for the pool, but don't take it too easy. Studies show that over the summer break, children lose between 25 and 30 percent of what they learn during the school year. Gilma Avalos shows us the areas you should focus on to make sure your kids stay ahead of the curve this fall. Play lots of video games, sleep a lot. If it were up to them, the lazy days of summer would linger on. I just want to relax. Summer is about kicking back, a break from school, but it's also the time when learning loss creeps in, a summer slide. And experts say the three skill sets that suffer are math, vocabulary, and writing. It's kind of a use it or lose it thing. You know, if you don't practice, you're not going to have those skills. Trish Van Buskirk has been an educator for four decades. Now a Kumon instructor and owner, she's tasked with reinforcing skills outside of the classroom. Just like there's muscle memory for tennis or musical instruments or something, there's muscle memory sort of for a certain academic skills as well. To avoid the summer slide, have a plan. Sit down with your kids and come up with goals like reading X number of books, working on multiplication tables. If you can already hear the whining, relax. We're talking about 30 minutes to an hour a day. There had been a problem. Kids should be reading every day. To extend the learning, think out of the box. They can rewrite a book into a play, cook something inspired by a book, and follow up. If the parent's excited about it, the children will be excited about it. Use online tools as resources. Vocabulary.com compiles vocab lists from books and movies like The Avengers. And you can find unique prompt ideas on dailyteachingtools.com. But don't let them park themselves in front of the screen for more than two hours, even if they're working on educational apps. If you do math facts, for example, on uh, like an iPad app, you're not going to retain that as well as if you did them with paper and pencil. Studies have shown reading math-focused stories can help boost math scores in school. How does division oh, even work? Playing Monopoly or Yahtzee also pushes kids to use their math skills. Take it from real kids. No one wants to be left behind when school starts. To me, I really honestly enjoy it. I'm not overworking myself, but I'm still, I still feel productive over the summer. Gilma Avalos, CBS 11 News. And tomorrow in our summer fun series, we're going to show you how a real family avoids the summer slide. And you'll see how easy it is to incorporate learning into your summer routine.